Hi everyone, it's Schematic Matt and today we are going to talk about locations of gastric and duodenal secretory cells. Enteroendocrine cells are specialized cells of the gastrointestinal tract with endocrine function. They produce gastrointestinal hormones or peptides in response to various stimuli and release them into the bloodstream for systemic effect. Gastric enteroendocrine cells are found in the gastric glands, mostly at their base. Parietal cells, also known as oxyntic cells, are epithelial cells in the stomach that secrete hydrochloric acid and intrinsic factor. These cells are located in the gastric glands found in the lining of the fundus and cardia. Parietal cells are primarily regulated via histamine, acetylcholine and gastrin, signaling from both central and local modulators. Vagus nerve fibers from the medulla stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system of the stomach, which in turn stimulates gastric secretion via parietal and G cells. G cells are found deep within the pyloric glands of the stomach enter. The G cells secrete gastrin, postganglionic fibers of the vagus nerve can release gastrin-releasing peptide during parasympathetic stimulation to simulate secretion. Gastrin stimulates enterochromaffin-like cells to secrete histamine. Gastrin is transferred from a specific type of G cell in the gastric epithelium to the ECL cells by blood. Gastrin also targets parietal cells by increasing the amount of histamine and the direct stimulation by gastrin causing the parietal cells to increase hydrochloric acid secretion in the stomach. Enterochromaffin-like cells are enteroendocrine and neuroendocrine cells, also known for their similarity to chromaffin cells secreting histamine. These cells are stimulated by the hormone gastrin. G cells are stimulated by vagal stimulation through the neurotransmitter gastrin-releasing peptide. This causes the G cells to secrete gastrin, which in turn stimulates ECL cells to release histamine. Note that acetylcholine is not the neurotransmitter for these cells. Histamine and gastrin act synergistically as the most important stimulators of hydrochloric acid secretion from parietal cells and stimulators of secretion of pepsinogen from chief cells. The most important inhibitor of the ECL cell is somatostatin from oxyntic D cells. The gastrin chief cell also known as zymogenic cell or peptic cell, is a cell in the stomach that releases pepsinogen and gastric lipase. Chief cells release the zymogen pepsinogen when stimulated by a variety of factors, including cholinergic activity from the vagus nerve and acidic condition in the stomach. Delta cells or D cells are somatostatin producing cells. In the stomach, the D cells are in the interim. Somatostatin has a general inhibitory effect on exocrine and endocrine cells. For example, we already said it inhibits ECL cells. Mucous cells secrete an alkaline mucus that protects the epithelium against shear stress and from the corrosive nature of gastric acid. Duodenal secretory cells are eye cells, Secrete cholecystokinin or CCK are located in the duodenum and jejunum. They modulate bile secretion, exocrine pancreas secretion, and satiety. S cells secrete secretin from the duodenum and jejunum and stimulate exocrine pancreatic secretion. K cells secrete gastric inhibitory peptide, an inhibiting hormone of the secretin family of hormones. While its weak inhibitor of gastric acid secretion, its main role is to stimulate insulin secretion. 